Hey guys, welcome to Chef Nay's YouTube channel. Today we will be making calzones. We're going to make about four calzones. So, yep, let's get started. Okay, I have two cups of warm water here. And I'm going to put two table, two teaspoons, I'm sorry, of activated dry yeast. And this warm water is just going to activate the yeast. So put two teaspoons in there like that. All right, guys, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. We're going to mix five cups of self-rising flour. Got my thing of flour here sitting off to the side. So I'm going to put five cups of flour in my bowl. Okay, guys, we're going to mix in our flour. We're going to put some Italian herbs. I like to season my dough. You don't have to. You can skip this part. I normally put two tablespoons, but I just put what I had left in here. And I'm going to put some fennel seed in here. You don't have to put this in here. You can skip this part. I'm going to put about a about a tablespoon. Is option two. Put two tablespoons since I doubled the size of the portion of my flour. I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoons of sugar. Actually, four teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to put my salt, one teaspoon of salt here. One teaspoon of accent. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. There you go. Ah, wow. This is a must have it's for your pantry. Uh, and that's it for the dry ingredients. Okay, guys, I mixed up my dry ingredients. And I'm going to pour my melted butter. I have one stick of melted butter here. I'm going to pour it with my activated yeast and warm water. Give it a little mix. And I'm going to pour it into my dry ingredients. And mix it up. Okay, I got my dough. And we're going to put it on this floured surface. Make sure you knead your dough about mm, maybe five minutes or so. Just work it. Ah, uh, sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky. You put oil on your hands. <laughs> I put some on mine, and it's still mm -hmm. sticky. Sticky. So you know it's good though. Uh huh. <laughs> good dough. dough. So I'm just gonna knead this, guys, and. Prepare it. All right, guys, after we work our dough, place it back in your bowl. Now, I like mine sticky. I don't like mine's real, like, firm. You can add more flour if you like yours firm. But I'm just going to put it in here. And uh, I oiled this bowl. And I'm going to place a lid on it and put it in my oven. The oven is not on. It's turned off. And I'm just going to sit in there and let it rise for about an hour covered. All right. Okay, guys. So I diced these um, pepperonis roughly. I cut them in like fours. Then I'm going to... Use the turkey sausage as well. And I saute my vegetables, my onions, and peppers. Saute them a little bit. And I'm gonna, uh, yeah, it's okay. Get the air out of the, the dough. Put it on the surface. Get that oil, do the trick. Yep, I oiled it. So, just put it into. 
four equal parts. And yeah, like that. All right, we're just gonna, the four sections, gonna get it all nice and stretched out here. So we can make our cow zones. And don't worry about if you're getting any holes in or anything like that. You need some ventilated holes to let the steam out of your cow zones while they cook. And if you have a rolling pin, go ahead and use it. I just use my hands and I'm just, I just go for it. Hands on. Hands on. Get in there. I have my pepperonis, my turkey pepperonis, my turkey sausage, onions, and peppers in here. And I just put it in four equal parts like that so we can know how much on each cow's on. And then you just put them on in here on top of your pizza sauce. Piece of sauce on there. You can make homemade or you can use a jar. I went on to use a jar today because my tomatoes weren't looking that good. I need some uh, fresh tomatoes for my sauce. And just make sure you get your sauce all in there. Put as little or as much as you want. You put white sauce if you like white sauce. If you're going to make chicken style, the sauce boss. Mm hmm. Okay, let's put our, I got some mozzarella here, I'm going to put in here. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. And you can put whatever cheeses you like inside your calzone. Put it back some so it can get closed up. I always get my hands messy. I got a mixture here of different cheeses. got Colby and Monterey right there. Sauce it up. Take our portion of our meat mixture here and put it on top. Like that. And the dough is seasoned, so remember that. So don't over season the meats. <laughs> oh yeah. Um I just put some accent and some pepper on my um peppers and onions in the skillet and sauteed it for 10 minutes. You can put yours in there raw if you want. I just always like to cook mine down for the kids. I have children and we have picky eaters in this house. I'm not one. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> on the plate, it'd be gone. <laughs> Okay, put it out the way. But we just take our cows on and just close it up. That's okay. They need a ventilation. You just find a way to close up the ends there. Like that, all the way around. And it's okay if you got holes in it or anything as long as the holes that you know, it's gonna close up as it cooks. It's it's gonna it's gonna be all right. You need a ventilation for anyway. You could poke a little bit more holes in there for yeah, um, that one washing the oven. Holes. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Put some slits in your dough so it can let out that air. I got my oven set to 450. We're going to cook them until they're nice, golden, and brown. Yeah, that's a masterpiece right there. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, here we go. It's the finished calzone. Can just is kind of hot still. Break that baby open and Break show it, it to the people. Oh, it's hot. And there you have it. It smells so good in this kitchen, you guys. Mm. Oh, that pasta look. Mm -hmm. We season that crust good. Oh, that crust is good. I put butter in it. Thank you guys for joining Chef Nay. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already to see more delicious flavored seasoned recipes by Chef Nay. Peace out.